Tinkercad tip. Tinkercad gives us a lot of functionality when it comes to resizing, and I think most people understand that when you click on an object, you can click on these various corners and by grabbing them and pulling them, you can resize the object that you're working with. Alternatively, you can also click in these numbers and change them to exactly what you want. For instance, here with the cube, we can do the same thing, resize it by grabbing or type in the numbers. But it also gives us some other functionality. For instance, if we hold the shift key, the way that it functions is a little different. Let's take, for example, this cylinder. Holding down the shift key, and if I grab and pull these corners, Notice that all three axes are moving proportionately. As I pull this out, it's also getting taller. The same with this cube. If I hold the shift key, it changes all three sizes. The same with this sphere. There is another bit of functionality that we get by using the ALT key. So by holding the ALT key, now notice when I pull on this corner that the two axes are changing, but not the third. Same with this. By holding the ALT key, it's changing both the X and the Y proportionately, but it's not changing Z. If I hold the ALT key and pull Z up, notice that it's also resizing on the opposite side, going down. The same applies to this sphere. X and Y, and just the Z axes. So there you have several options for resizing objects by changing the corners, pulling the corners, changing the actual numbers, or by using the shift key or alt key in conjunction with the resizing. If you have comments, leave me some comments.